Motion trails in 5.6. I wanted to make this quick but effective video about this simple but really important feature. It has been seriously improved and revamped, so let's take a look at it. First off, what's motion trails? It's pretty simple. This tool helps you visualize the keys and the path you've created on the control over time. It shows things in a point in curve fashion, making it easier to animate, space things out, and smooth everything overall. I always compare it to the classic way of animating seeing your intervals, easing, and all that good stuff. So, let's jump into how it works in Unreal Now. With 5.6, the UI has changed a little. If you're in animation mode, you'll find the Motion Trails tool on the top bar, right next to the temporary pivot tool. Before anything else, let's focus on a sequencer with some animation already in it. I'm using a model I grabbed for free on Fab, which came with existing animation. So, we'll get quite a lot of keys there as it's coming from baked animation. I just threw together a quick control rig to demo this feature. I picked a flying animation with some root motion to show things more clearly. To get started, click the motion trails icon to activate the tool. Then make sure show trails on selection is enabled, so the trail will show up when you select something. Pick a control where the motion is easy to see. And there you are, you should see the trail pop up right away. One of the really nice quality of life updates in 5.6 is the customization options. Depending on your scene or character, it might be hard to see the trail clearly. In the advanced section, you'll find settings for adjusting trail thickness, key size, and other visual aspects. You can even show marks along the trail to better understand how your keys interpolate. Really helpful for seeing easing and overall motion behavior. You can also customize the trail colors, which is always a plus. The pin settings connect to something I'll show in a sec, but first, and maybe the most exciting thing, just like in other DCC tools, you can now select and adjust keys directly on the trail. That alone makes animation way easier and more intuitive in Unreal. It's such a welcome addition. Back to customization, in 5.6 you can also switch trail styles. Go with the default look or try dashed, timed or even heat map style trails. Lots of ways to make it your own. And it's not just the control you have selected. You can pin multiple controls to keep their trails visible at all times. You can pin up to 10 by default, and that limit can be adjusted in the advanced settings, as I mentioned earlier. By default, the trail shows the full animation range, but you can trim it down to show only a specific frame range if needed. Pretty easy and straightforward to use, right? That's what we love. Now, one last feature in 5.6 Motion Trail Tool. Offset and space settings, which show up next to any pinned controls. Offsets let you shift the trail around in the timeline without actually affecting your keys or animation. Just hold shift and drag on an axis and you'll be able to reposition your trail. Handy in cluttered scenes. Just heads up, the experimental gizmo from the animator kit plugin is still a bit sensitive and doesn't fully play nice with the shift and drag yet. As for the space settings, this is great when you want your trails to show in a different space, like relative to a camera instead of a world space. A common example, if you create a camera in Sequencer, you can use the eyedropper to pick it and choose its camera proxy component. You'll immediately see the trails update in relation to the camera, which can be super useful in certain situations. And that's it for today with this improved and great new feature. Thanks for watching and see you next week for a new video. Ciao!